Today I'm here with the lovely Nikki from Nikki Post Travel Stuff and here in Egypt we are foreigners and we have decided to try some Egyptian food and snacks. Yes we have. But we are going to start with the savory stuff because Nikki's a little hungry. So this is kushari which is a mix of chickpeas, lentils, rice, other kinds of noodles. It's like as if someone just had all these things left over in their house one day and they put it all together. And then it also has this tomato sauce and some kind of potentially spicy thing. Let's yeah, try it. Just Let's a tiny it. bit because I don't deal with spice too well. Oh, it is spicy. Oh, it is spicy. <laughs> it is a little spicy. I'm just gonna lick it. And then also this oh. ye yellow stuff. Butter. If it's butter, I want all of it on there. <laughs> we were not able to heat this right now. We got it hours ago because the power is out and that's why we are doing this with the with the sunlight. Oh, there's like, it looks oh, there's like more little, noodles down there. Okay, looks like so little like macaroni. Not macaroni, spaghetti. This doesn't seem too exotic for me. Ultimate carbo load. It would be better warm. And honestly, I would like to mix in a little cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Rating? Hmm. Oh, okay. Mm. 8 out of 10. I agree with 8 out of 10. Less exotic than I thought. Still mm. delicious. How do you feel about trying a drink? All right, let's that try spicy a drink. really hit me. I want to try Fido's cactus fruit. All right. I don't remember if I've had cactus fruit before. Must have at some point because it's Oh, unique. it's spark sparkly. I didn't oh. imagine it to oh, be yeah. sparkly. Oh yeah, so it is. Wow. Mm. It kind of reminds me of what a not. I preferred what I know. Okay. <laughs> mm. But it is very good. I would prefer it if it wasn't sparkly. I feel like the sparkly kind of gives it an extra mm. Extra spark. Extra spark. Wow. Oh, I like this one. Oh. And like definitely more on the sweeter scale, but not like too overly sweet. Do you want to try the dreaded seafood bread? Just get it over with. I don't want to, but I will try it. Yeah. Nikki is dreading trying this one. It's a supreme sandwich, creamy cheese with smoked seafood flavor on focaccia bread. It smells kind of nice. Does it? Yeah. Oh, it smells like bread and cheese. It smells like something you get on an airplane. Yeah, it like, is that smell. It's like the, the dinner roll the smell. The dinner roll airplane. smell. I mean, it's industrial. We got it days ago, but we didn't even need to store it in the fridge. because Of course not. It'll just last forever, I think. You know, as expected, you just don't get a lot of filling. Halafa. Halafa. Ihnan. Ihnan. Wahed. Wahed. It's fine. It tastes more cheesy than seafood. -y. It's like bread and then like a little like cream cheese kind of thing. But like a slight seafood flavor. It's not overwhelming. Seafood is fine. Rating? Mmm. I don't love it. I give it a four. I'll give it a four out of ten. It's called Flamingo made with oats. They look like puffy Cheetos without the cheese. Oats peanut puffs. All right, let's try them. Yeah, one puff for you, one puff for me. Okay, oh, so- Two puffs that. for me. Hey. Uh -huh. All right, with a little powder around. Okay, ready, go. All right, cheers. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Oh, those oh. are good. What does that taste like? Yeah, it is a familiar taste. Um, oh. It tastes like peanuts. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah. Rice yeah. cakes, it reminds me of that. It's like that kind of texture, fluffy, but peanut. Yeah, oh, these are really good. Corn, oats, peanuts, vegetable oil, and salt. So they are pretty healthy, except yeah. for the vegetable oil. Much healthier than Cheetos, that's for sure. It's like an airy peanut. Yeah, let's take those on the bus ride tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> Score? Oof, those are good. Nine out of 10. It is really good, but I'm giving it a six. <gasps> oh, good. Yeah. All right, I think we should try the last savory item on the on the menu today. Protein crackers balance sweet chili. And like, they do look like sun chips in shape, but we shall see. Balance protein crackers. Let's see if we're... Not very strong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like the flavor that's a little spicy. Yeah. But they do have that flavor that just shouts like, this is processed fake food. You know, it like tastes What could really... be better? <laughs> <laughs> I think they're the perfect amount of spicy. All right, my score for this? Eight out of 10, great bus snack as well. Six Save and a half. All right, well, mm -hmm. it's good. Like Nikki, tomorrow Nikki's <laughs> eating these yeah. on the bus and I'm eating these. Yeah. Oh, we're doing the pancakes. I'm very curious about this one. When I saw these for the first time in the market in Cairo, I thought they were mushrooms. 
Portobello, Portobello, mushroom. Oh. But they look great, and I just wish we had maple syrup to have with these. Oh yeah, that's true. But uh, yeah, let's see. Chewy, not a lot of taste. Like they're not sweet or not savory. Not a lot of flavor at all. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know their palate here, but maybe it is a nice snack for them. It's like a simple snack, or maybe they put it with fruit, cream cheese, a jam, a jam, peanut butter, uh, peanut butter, Nutella, Nutella, uh, even cheese, like a little cheese, like regular cheese in there, and rolled it up. Mozzarella. It's simple. It's just, it's just not like a flavor explosion in my mouth. It's just yeah. like a flavor pop in my mouth. <laughs> I want a five. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Let's be fair and give it a five because it could be better or worse than that, paired with something. Else. Yeah, and warm, I think, could also be better as well. All right, we'll give this another shot some other day. No. <gasps> hey. The power's back. Hey. Time for my favorite section, the dessert section. This is basil seed coconut drink. So you can see all the seeds inside. I believe I've had something similar yeah. to this before, maybe in Turkey or... Oh good, you did it. Yeah, really good. Kind of has that bubble tea consistency. Um, tastes like coconut, obviously. The seeds will get stuck in your teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's hard to say 10 out of 10, but I'd give it a nine and a half. Wow, yeah. I didn't expect that from everything you said. Yeah, I like it. You know, I'm just gonna give it a... I was gonna give it less, but because you rated it so high, <laughs> Uh, I'll give it an eight. Okay. Yeah. Let's do the enigmatic one because we can't read it. Well, let me see. And it has a picture of cinnamon. Then yeah. it might be a fig or a date thing. Wow. Definitely looks like a fig Newton yeah, type Yeah, looks like of a cookie. fig Newton, yeah. Mm. Okay. I love cinnamon, so I think it's really good. I guess it's um dates. So we got it kind of right. Yeah. Oh, that's it's really good. good. I'm just gonna eat all of it. Mm -hmm. Flaky. Yeah, very flaky. We'll definitely eat again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nine out of ten. I might go eight, but I really like it. I'm a big fan of fig, fig bars and things like that. This is really similar. Yeah, I go eight and a half, I think. Eight and a half. Go. I didn't know we could do halves. But this is really kind of what's intriguing me, this Blazo Gola. Blazo? Oh, no, this is gold. <laughs> Blazo Gold. My butt hurts from climbing pyramids. <laughs> so Blazo to me sounds like many things. The first one being like a clown name, like Blazo the clown. Oh, okay. And he's like a big stoner. Yeah. Okay. Stoner thing is really my first <laughs> idea. Yeah. All right. Always well, laughing. Rice crisps with caramel covered in chocolate, and like chocolate wafers covered in caramel, and then the chocolate rice. Crispies around it and then covered in chocolate. So, all right. So amazing. Mm, I think it really good. Amazing. 10 out of 10, Egypt, you did it. Yeah, we had to do a 10 out of 10 at one point. <laughs> and I think Blazo, the clown, mm -hmm. really did a good job here. Now we're doing the um, the knockoff Tim Tam, <laughs> which is a ta ta biscuit with marshmallow, dark chocolate, premium quality. I do like a good marshmallow. I guess Tim Tams don't have marshmallow, do they? It does look different from a Tim Tam. I think there's something that looks exactly like this, like the marshmallow mm. inside. Too chocolatey for me. I don't like chocolate that much. Too dry. I don't really like it. I liked it, and I know what it reminds me of. What? It's a moon pie. Oh, is that what a moon pie is? Yeah. Mmm. Moon pies are bigger. They're like that. This is a mini moon pie. Oh. Ta ta. Blazo's better. Blazo's but, uh, blazing away the competition. Yeah. <laughs> I'll give it like a six and a half because I need to use my half. I would say that's the thing that I've liked the least. Out of everything. Out of everything? Wow. I would give what it. What about seafood bread? I think I'd rather repeat the bread than that cookie. Wow. No. That's, a, that's surprising. Okay, I'd give it a three and a half. That's one. There's a tiny little donut. I'm wondering what the consistency uh, no. is for that. Okay. Made a major flakage here. already. Yeah, major flakage. It's just like a little mini chocolate donut. So, I mean, how bad could it be? Mm, mm, mm. Looks really flaky though. It's like a oh, and it just, <laughs> it's just falls apart falling right in your apart. hand. Yeah, it just feels like a processed fake dessert. Yeah, that children like. Mm -hmm. I don't love it. But I would probably eat it again if someone gave it to me because we need to give a really low score for something. Yeah, I'll give it a two and a half. Okay. Because now I'm all about the house. 
Nikki and I have traveled to several spots together and we've um, tried tons of food all over the world. So you should click on this playlist to see us trying some other foods. So just click on that playlist and we'll see you over there in three, two, one.